Thank you. Billions of dollars have been gained and lost during just the last few days. And as a political issue, as you just heard there, it made for some interesting bedfellows with AOC on the same side as Ted Cruz and Rush Limbaugh. Charles Payne of Fox Business joins us now to kind of straighten this all out. Good evening, Charles. I heard you earlier yesterday uh, talking about this and getting fired up about it. A lot of people have come down and said, you know, should this be changed the way the markets work? Talk to me about it. Well, here's the thing, uh, Brett. Uh, I, I've been doing this for over 30 years. Uh, I, I've taken companies public as a broker. I took my own company public, and I've been a consultant. I know this industry inside and out. And this has been one area that, that has upset me tremendously for a long time. Now, market purists and, and, and you know these rich head funds folks always say, hey, shorting is good. It helps liquidity. It keeps the market running. It's a pretty good thing. What's not a good thing is if you issue Brett, if you issued 10 shares in, in Brett Bear Incorporated and somebody saw that it was worth $100 and thought, maybe I can drive this to a buck. It's a great company. So and somehow they were able to borrow 20 shares. Now, you only issued 10, but somehow they can borrow 20 and sell it and keep selling it and pound it and pound it and pound it and pound it into submission. And along the way, all the investors who believed in Brett Bear Incorporated also lose their shirt. And this is what's happening. This is not about trading. This is about a, a cottage industry of very wealthy billionaires who have been able to pound stocks into complete submission. It's not about a trade. It's not about them thinking something is oversold. It's about them thinking that a stock is hopeless, that there's no brokerage firms covering it, or that most brokerage firms have a hold rating on it, maybe a sell rating. No one's going to come to its defense. They're not looking for a trade. They're looking for total submission. So all of a sudden, you get a bunch of no, young investors, mostly novice investors, excited, and they, and they start to notice, hey, if you buy these stocks up, sometimes they get squeezed. So the person that's shorted your stock at 10 may have to buy it at 12, may have to buy it at 14. They start getting a little nervous, and on and on and on. This is what we call a classic short squeeze. It's the ultimate short squeeze. Now what compounds the error, the problem, in addition to these hedge funds already being able to borrow unlimited amounts of stock, and artificially sell it, right? This is not a real market. They are making a market to the downside. Now on top of this, today you have all of these platforms, including Robinhood, and I say shame on them, who have stopped these same investors from buying the stock. So guess what? They can only sell it. <laughs> okay, they can sell it, the shorts can sell it. Of course it's gonna go down. It's really a serious injustice. And if something's gonna be done, something should be done on the ability to, to get 140% of a company's float, uh, which obviously doesn't yeah. exist, and sell it into the market. I think you start there. Right. So, you know, for the people who say, listen, we're doing this to protect the little guy, you say what? The little guy, some little guys made a lot of money in a short period of time, um, but there could be some holding the bag at the end, and the big guys often don't. Well, the big guys get theirs, but here's the thing. I, I just think it's a disingenuous argument. Uh, 20 years ago, General Electric, was, General Electric was the number one stock in the, in, a, in the entire world. It was the number one market cap, and Wall Street said, hey, said to everybody, put this in your retirement fund. All right, 50 bucks a share. It went to 10. It went to six. It went to six. Uh, you know, so you can lose money on the bluest of blue chip stocks. The bottom line is the stock market's supposed to be democratized. Everyone's supposed to be able to take a shot. And if you, and if you get burned, you get burned. That's what the stock market is. It's a free market exchange. I think it's going higher. You think it's going lower. Let's play by the same rules. So I don't think that these platforms did this for the little guy. I really believe they circled the wagons to help the hedge funds who control Wall Street, who, by the way, buy the order flow from Robin Hood. So they didn't do this to save yeah. the little guy. You don't, you don't seduce people into trading by giving them free stock and these commercials and talking about the beauty of investing. And then when you have the biggest folks on Wall Street right there ready to crack, pull a rug out from under those same people you seduce yeah. into the market. It's a shame. It really is. Charles, I love your perspective on it. And this is not the end of this story. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man.